Hello everyone, welcome back here to the channel. My name is Scott and I'm happy to be here. And I'm also very happy today to uh, work on a, an episode here, uh, a lesson here, that actually is a request of a, of a student, one of the students here at our fine institution. And um, the student sent an email on this one as well. And just a couple of ideas and uh, observations and a request about the usage of uh, update and upgrade. And also the word uh, mood, moody, compared to uh, atmosphere, um, which I want to work on today. So thanks very much for watching. First off on uh, update and upgrade. Now, I'm not familiar with it myself, but apparently there may be a little bit of confusion or misunderstanding on the, uh, the usage of uh, update or upgrade. So I just want to make that clear. So to, basically to update something is uh, the information is a little bit old and to well, to make it up to date, in that case, make it uh, timely for the period, the point you're at right now. And upgrade is an idea of to um, improve the situation or to improve a, a system or so. So let me give you a couple examples and sentences. So I'm gonna look over at the board here so you're gonna see my eyes move. So first with um, update. So I have a CV if I'm looking for a, a job at a different place. Now, I need to update my CV. I have an interview next week. So update was the information is not up to date. It's a little bit old. I have some more information I can put in, more timely information. So that's the update. So from previous information and things have happened since then and to update it to make it where it is, the situation is now, that's the update. So for example, I have an, a job interview next week. I need to update my CV. Other words are resume, okay? That's the update. Whereas upgrade is to improve the situation. Now you might be familiar with upgrade, of course, through um, air travel. So if you're in economy class and you get an upgrade to business class, business class upgrade to first class, that doesn't happen too often, but anyways, that would be an upgrade situation. So to upgrade my, my, my reservation, my flight. So I was upgraded to business class from economy class. Now I can also upgrade a system. Upgrade here means to improve it and make it better. So the system was upgraded. It is much more efficient. All right. So update is to make the information up to date, timely for now. And upgrade idea is to improve the, the system or upgrade a, a flight reservation, for example, to make it better, improve it, improve the situation where you are, update and upgrade. Um, that's one uh, point that a, a student has asked about and requested on in her email. And she also had a um, point on um, mood compared to uh, atmosphere and also the adjective moody. So just a basic um, sentence, um, she's in a good mood, she's in a bad mood, okay? Good mood, you can talk to her. She's in a bad mood, maybe not, don't talk to her. She's in a bad mood right now. So mood in that case is uh, the way the person feels. Now, generally, uh, the, the adjective moody has more of a negative context to it. Um, if you say that that person is moody, if I, if I say the person is moody, um, that means more, most cases, that's a negative idea. So in Japanese, kibunya. So sometimes okay, sometimes not okay. But moody is more of a negative idea. So a moody person, you never know how that person is going to be. Sometimes in a good mood, sometimes in a bad mood, but you never know. So he's a moody person is not a compliment by any means. Um, maybe somebody that's difficult to approach or talk to at times because of their bad mood. So try to use moody in, in a in, um, negative tense, negative sense for the most part, and it's going to describe somebody. Now, if you want to go to a nice restaurant or cafe or a jazz bar, and you know, if at the idea that's moody, meaning atmosphere, keep it to atmosphere. So you won't use moody in that in that sense. So this bar has a nice atmosphere. This cafe has a very casual atmosphere, uh, very comfortable. You enjoy being there. The atmosphere is nice. Now, of course, it could look the opposite way and have a bad atmosphere, but generally atmosphere to be used in a positive sense. It's a nice atmosphere. 
I want to put one more word in here too that was not requested, but it's also used. It's a French word, but it's also used in English. It's ambiance, which is the same meaning as atmosphere. So I can say this restaurant has a nice atmosphere, and I can also say this restaurant has a nice ambiance. Um, atmosphere, ambiance. Hopefully, it's good. The atmosphere I'm in this classroom is very good. The ambiance here is good too. Now, also with uh, a mood. Uh, a mood can be also uh, what you want. So what are you in the mood for? So if I ask um, somebody, um, where would you like to go for dinner tonight? This person can respond, I'm in the mood for Chinese or I'm in the mood for Italian. And the mood there means I want to have, I want to eat Chinese or Italian. I'm in the mood for, it's often good for restaurants or um, cafes or things like that I'm in the mood for, especially for eating or eating out at home as well. What do you want to have tonight? I'm in the mood for gyoza, okay? That'll work well. So what you want to have, what you want to eat. So just remember the points here. Um, overall for the, the, the feeling, the overall general feeling in the, in the restaurant or cafe or wherever you are, Keep it the atmosphere, also possible ambiance. Mood, or what you want. I'm in the mood for, I'm in the mood for Chinese tonight. Moody kind of goes on the negative side. So he's a moody person. Sometimes he's easy to talk to, sometimes he's not. That's moody in that case. I hope that the, the, the viewer who has um, um, requested this information, hope this works out well for you. Is there anything else you want to know or anything else anybody else here is watching, wants to know, please feel free to ask any uh, questions, requests, or comments. We'd love to, to hear from you. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here again. We'll be back here again soon. Until then, have a great day.